today we're going to work on password protected areas on your website. Okay, you're going to start out at our website, as you can see up here, guestcheck.us. Come on down and click on domain names. And you'll go ahead and sign into your account. This is Orion Auto Glass. And click go. And this will bring up the first page. Put your mouse on web hosting. And then click on my hosting account. Come on down and click on Manage Account. Now every once in a while that gets stubborn for me on my computer. One way around this, if it's for some reason not clicking, is right click your mouse and then click and open a new window. And that will force it open. And this will bring up your hosting control center has all the information here. Don't need any of it. Come on down and click on content. Don't go to password vault. You want to go to file manager. Let me get that can out here. Okay. This kind of shows you your website, its structure on the net. So you can see in this website there's two password protected areas. Almost every website has a private area that's password protected. And in this case, it's the agents area. All the pages behind agents are password protected. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to come up and click permissions. We're going to click password protect. As you can see, there's currently two users. If I want to remove a user, I just highlight the person and I remove them. This person is removed when you click OK. You got to click that OK. If you click cancel, they're not actually removed. So we're going to come back here and we're going to click permissions again. This time we're going to add a user. So we're going to add Rob back in and his password is 1234. And we're going to click create. We're going to click OK, and then this OK again. Again, this sets the permissions. So you got to get that one in. I'm going to click Agents, Permissions. Remember Rob's password, but we're going to go ahead and add a user here. Now this time we want to change Rob's password. So we're going to change password. Rob's going to appear right here. We're going to make it 12345 is Rob's password. Click Create and click OK. Just like that. Now, for some reason, I'm not sure why, I'm going to click Agents again. For some reason, Steve is still in here. I don't know what he's doing in there. So I'm going to click Add Users and I'm going to remove Steve because I don't want him in here. So I'll click Steve, highlight him, and then delete him. Click OK. Whoops. No, see, he wasn't in there, so that created a problem. So we're going to go ahead and remove me, just for the heck of it. Remove Rob. I'm going to add Rob back in. Password 12345. Click OK. Click OK. So now Rob and Troy both have access to the agent's area of the website. Now let's go ahead and see. Oops. I'm going to open up a new browser and let's see. I've been using this so let me go to the top of the address bar and click in Orion Auto Glass. Click Agents Access at the very bottom. And all this is is when you're trying to go to that particular place on the website, you got to have a password. 
And as you can see at the top, Orion Auto Glass forward slash agents, that's the file right here. Oops, just bring it up here so you can see it. So Orion Auto Glass agents is the file, and this is the page, agent underscore one dot HTML. Anybody that's, you know, when it's forward slash agents forward slash, anybody who wants into that area has to have a password. Now this is not a secure area. This is, you'll notice at the top here, it's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. If it was a secure area, it would be HTTPS. There's no S, it's not secure. This is not a website that you would buy something from or put sensitive information. Not that anybody can really get into it because it's server side protected. It'd be pretty hard to break into it. But nonetheless, it's not secure. And that concludes the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.